Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Orphan Last, aka Skylar Madison, and today we're going to be talking about how to customize the timing on a video reference. Now we can see on the timeline. Okay, now we if if it's set to frames, we can see that there's 203 frames total. But if we set this at sec frame, we can quickly see that it's about eight and a half seconds long. However, if we go into the original file and we go ahead and just play it, we can see that it's only six seconds long. If we right click on it and go properties, we can see inside of the details that it's six seconds long. Okay, so why is it eight seconds long if it's supposed to be six seconds? Well, the reason is because I filmed this at 30 frames per second. So for our first second, uh, what we have is, okay, 24 frames from here. Let's set this to sec frame. This is how many frames too many we have per second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So way too many. Way too many frames have been dumped into here. So what we need to do is somehow adjust the timing. So let's go ahead and select every single one of our cells. Okay, press shift and click. Okay, cool. So we go cells, time stretch. Okay, so we can see the old range is 203. And we can see the new range is set at 203, 203, but we want something different. We want this at six seconds. Multiply that by 24 frames per second, and we have 144. We type in 144, click stretch, and we can see that at, if we set this to sec frame, we can see that it's now at six seconds. So I've now adjusted that. But let's say, let's ignore the idea that maybe there's a director saying, I want this to be six seconds long. Let's say we want to customize things, uh, the timing of things if we want. We can go ahead and uh, say right about here where there's this startled look. Okay, okay, so that's that recoil right there. We can select all of that and go cells, time stretch, and we can see seven cells selected. So let's have this go about twice as fast. So let's put in about mm, four frames, okay? And we can see that it plays much faster. Okay, so play. So he, he starts behaving like a cartoon character a little bit, uh, and that's fine. Uh, it just looks weird when a true-to-life character is doing that. that. That recoil is just really quick. So it's best to try to keep your video reference on ones while you're trying to get your timing just right with your video reference. As you notice, if you look at the timeline or the X sheet, it says 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 22. Okay, so we're not counting up normally. And yet, we look at our level strip and we see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we have every single one of our levels from the original version. Okay, so we can see that we have 203 uh, levels in total, which is what we originally had. Whereas this time around, uh, if we look at how many frames we have, it's 144, but 202 in total. Uh, that's actually exposed on the X sheet or timeline. And that's fine. We want that. That's good. And really quick here, before I go about closing the video entirely, I would like to make an announcement and give somebody credit for something. I'm thinking that I'm going to remake an updated version of the playlist for OpenTunes tutorials. OpenTunes has come a long way in a short period of time, and my videos have become far more professional than when I first started. Your thoughts? Uh, well, this is a poll on Twitter, and six people voted, but I never get a 100% unanimous vote. So I am going to remake my beginner tutorials and such like that. These are going to be more topical than project-based, primarily because project-based videos don't really show up in search results. So in order for people to learn from my current playlist, they pretty much have to watch the entire playlist in order to keep up. So something topical. That'll be good. The next thing that I'd like to talk about is the music that started at the very beginning of the video, as well as what will play at the tail end of the video with the outro. The music is made by St. Jean Stevenson Benham. And this guy, he was very talented with music, but he's wound up being afflicted with hearing problems possibly deafness. As a result, he's actually resorted to logo design. And, you know, he has a, a multitude of duplicates and such like that. But as you can also see, he's 
got a variety of other logos as well. And they do tend to be minimalistic and actually very professional as well. And uh, I, I just think that he should get some exposure. And if you guys are looking for a logo design or something along those lines, maybe he might be able to get a little bit of clientele. It's worth taking a look at, guys. This guy is uh, pretty good. A link to his Facebook profile will be supplied in the video description below. Be sure to check him out. Seriously, he's good. Alright, and that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys would like to get more notifications from me, feel free to click on the bell. And if you guys would like to see more content from me, feel free to click on any of the content appearing on the screen right now. Thank you very much for your time.